The Australian Army will soon receive two AS-9 Huntsman self-propelled howitzers modelled off the South Korean K-9 Thunder. Tests of the incoming howitzers with its three-round burst and automated loading capabilities are nearing completion in South Korea, Australia's Defence Ministry said. Army will also take delivery of an AS-10 armoured ammunition resupply vehicle imported from South Korea. Construction of a new Hanwha Defence Australia factory is underway near Avalon, Victoria, where the remaining 42 vehicles will begin production in Australia late next year. Hanwha has been working with the Australian Defence Force, ADF, to integrate Australian 155mm shells, including the new Rhine metal Asagai munitions. Major Brendan Kelleher, of the project team under Land 8116, said the tests ensured the combination of Australian ammunition and a Korean cannon were safe for service. While we know in isolation the K-9's cannon is safe, and in isolation the ammunition is safe, this testing makes sure they are compatible, Major Kelleher said. Once that is established, subsequent tests will collect ballistics data required to use the AS-9 with the Advanced Field Artillery Tactical Data Systems, used to calculate and coordinate firing. Further testing will be conducted in Australia focused on protection of the vehicle from small arms fire and shrapnel. A coupon, metal sample, from the steel, of which the vehicle is built, is placed in a vice and a slug is shot into it, Major Kelleher said. This is repeated against coupons of different thickness to understand the levels of protection. Blast testing was also recently conducted in Israel involving a full-size AS-9 hull fitted with crash test dummies, cameras and sensors inside. An explosive charge was detonated at the base of the vehicle to imitate the effects of a landmine. The results will inform design changes to ensure the vehicles provide the required protection and survivability for soldiers. The feedback we're getting from other users is they are impressed by the maturity and ease of use of the platform, Major Kelleher said. It is a big increase in range and lethality from the in-service towed howitzer, made possible by the longer cannon and higher rates of fire. For junior gunners and non-commissioned officers, it's going to be a challenging but exciting step up to manage both a cannon and an armored vehicle, likely with greater autonomy than they might have on a normal gun line. Elphinstone, a company on the north coast of Tasmania, will manufacture the hulls and turrets. The first AS-9 to be completed in Australia is expected to roll out the door by the end of 2025.